Welcome back to Kirby's Dreamland 2! Hi, everybody. Ripplefield! Top 5 saddest Pokemon moments. Why is the thumbnail a picture of Ash catching a Pokemon? Wait, is there a top 10 list, or top 5 list in the, in the suggestions? Yeah. <laughs> Not on my end. On my end, I just see a whole bunch of Kirby stuff, life. and at the very bottom... Oh, Kirby's Dreamland remade in Super <laughs> Mario Maker is at the bottom there. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I just I have also Kirby have stuff. Best Native American songs. Wow, that's a word that I don't know if I would be able to pronounce. Um, <laughs> fuck. I really want to try this, too. <laughs> you're gonna wait well, till you're not, you're not being recorded to try. <laughs> wow, kui, wow, kui kuna, kui kuna, Ke kun. Yeah. Top ten, top ten lists. Number ten. This one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Number 9! Top 10 stupid people in uh, video games, I guess. I don't fucking know. Number 8! Number 1, Evan. Number 8! Top 10 times that Carrie said something she didn't understand. Uh, number 6! Top 10 times Carrie said something she regretted. All what about- which happened in the last 5 minutes. Wait, wait what happened seven. to number 7? <laughs> number seven, number top ten. <laughs> Case in point. About. Top ten, number six, top ten times Carrie said something she said something she regretted in the last five minutes when she missed number seven. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah, uh, number five. Top ten times Will memed us. Wow. Yo, know, that could legitimately be a thing, though. That could. <laughs> Number four, top ten orange varieties. Number five, top ten times Carrie what? missed a number because she what? missed number five. No, number five. Evan, you said number five. Memes. Oh, that was meant to be number seven. Whoops, I got confused. <laughs> number three, top ten times that Evan said something completely and hilariously wrong because he knows it like the back of his head. That was number ten right there. <laughs> Number two, top ten anime deaths. Number one. Number uh, one, something that IGN made that's horribly done. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Watch Mojo's gonna start running out of top ten list ideas, <laughs> and they're gonna do top ten Watch Mojo top tens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it actually reminds me, um. Apparently, like, I don't know why somebody actually sent me a Watch Mojo list, but it was, uh, like, top 10 hardest Mario levels, and if I remember correctly, they weren't all completely lost levels stuff. Oh, it wasn't Did Mario you... Maker stuff? Huh. Wait, what'd you say, Will? It wasn't Mario Maker stuff? Um, that's a, that's another fair point. Because... Okay. Mario Maker levels can be really hard. And that's just because people like to make, like, <clears throat> Satan levels. Oh, I mean, gosh. seriously. I mean, there are fair- but Here's the thing, if you rock the people who pass there's them- There's purgatory, there's just levels from Mario Maker. Oh, should I talk about- should I talk about the third partner now? This is Keen. He's a fish. He sucks on- like, he's absolutely terrible on land, but, um, in the water he can well, actually- he's a fish, what do you expect? In, in the water, well, first off, he has much better control than Kirby does underwater, and secondly, he can fight, uh, currents. That's also- That's kinda nice. That's also, uh, Ku's gimmick for, uh, the sky. Or, I don't know, is it- <laughs> Is it, uh, is it Keen or is it Kine? I'm not entirely sure there. How's Ooh. it spelled? K-I-N-E. I'd say Kine. Okay. I would too. I, I guess he's but not too keen that, so about like... that. Oh, funny meme. Funny joke. You're a joke. Wait, what? That wasn't no. very nice, Carrie. It's okay. I'm kidding. Yeah, once you get these stars maxed out, you always get a one-up, so that's nice. 
Oh, right, I forgot. I was going to talk about the story, wasn't I? Oh, yes. Uh, what is the story yes. of this? Okay, book? so basically, someone, pretty sure it was King DDD, destroyed um a rainbow bridge that connects the uh, like these floating islands together. And Kirby needs to collect the rainbow drops in order to fix them. Or what? Oh, fucking no. I think it was something along those lines. Oh yeah, something nice about Kine is that uh, when you have Kine out, Kirby can actually inhale things while underwater. Something he can't do normally. He'll just blow bubbles instead. It's just blowing bubbles! Sorry, I was responding to a text message. What happened? I said that uh, when you have Kine in your party, uh, or like when you're using Kine, um, you can actually inhale things while underwater, something you can't do normally. Uh, I see. Because Kirby just blows bubbles instead. Yeah. And then I quoted Squidward by saying, It's just blowing bubbles! I love, I love that. Bubble stand. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite episode. It's great. Bubble stand? That's oh, like that's like the third episode of the show. Exactly! Oh, I love the old ones. Carrie, you want to start a bubble stand? Bro. Yes or no? Bro, that's my answer. Let's see, um, oh, yeah, it kind of reminds me, um, like, so Splatoon just announced the- Oh, look at that eel! Um, so- <laughs> Splatoon just announced- Oh, look at that eel! <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the um, headline. no, uh, Splatoon just announced a new Splatfest, and it was, um, it's, uh, I believe both in Europe and the US, it's Spongebob versus Patrick. I'm being serious. Whoa! Whoa! Look, he—he's sad. He's sad when you use stone. Yeah, just a bit. Um, he looked like a penguin there for a second. Okay. Uh. They have the rights to that. They have the rights to penguins. What? <laughs> um. No. no so well, okay, okay. So, uh. That well, I mean, earlier they did uh Autobots versus Decepticons. Oh. So. I don't keep up with all of them. Well, the last one I really remember is like snowmen or sandcastles, which are. That was the last checked, one. Uh, last that... time I checked, those are uh, not copyrighted. <laughs> well, um, yeah, that was the last one they and did, and you remember that because I, I remember said from that is like red or blue. Well, you remember that because I said uh, Team Snow Bay is so fleek, I literally can't even. Oh my gosh. No, I was there for that. Yeah, I saw that. Yes. Oh, wow. um. Seriously, I I love the Squid Sisters. They are hilarious, especially Marie with her snark. Um, I literally. Oh, and by the way, Red and Blue. It's specifically talking about Pokemon Red and Blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, they're doing SpongeBob versus Patrick, and my first reaction was basic. My initial reaction was basically, um, wait, no. can't this basically just be described by the Fry Cook games? Oh yeah, Ooh. you have a point. I like this already. Just, you guys just, know why Patrick's just, so dumb? Because he lives under a rock. <laughs> 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 I know, I'm hilarious. Oh! You want to know why, why Carrie's so dumb? Why? Because he lives in a house. Oh, that's... <laughs> Makes no sense, so I will take no offense. <laughs> See, but I don't live in a house. You live in a dorm. Yeah. And then next shot, Yeah, I got Gatorade! Wow. Woo! Sports drink. I wish I could breathe underwater. That'd be great. <coughs> <coughs> the other day, I was thinking about, like, wouldn't it be really cool if I could comfortably survive at any pressure? Oh my gosh, you could explore deep sea. Well, comfortably survive at any pressure. Make sure you make sure you have enough oxygen and then light so you could explore deep sea. But yeah. Yeah. yeah otherwise. Oh, yeah, but it, it gets rid of part like half of the issue. Will, you're yeah. talking about deep sea, and then you got this guy who's basically the definition of deep sea. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his own life. He's alarming. He's a little alarmed, actually. He Wait, just I'm looks. Wondering. He's just so. He looks disturbed. He looks like he's high. 
on cocaine. That's my favorite. I like cocaine. Wow. I'm kidding. I don't do drugs. So I was thinking, you know those really, really deep sea fish? I'm wondering what would happen if you brought them out of water? Because if they're really used to that high pressure, what Probably would happen die. if you brought them? Well, yes, they'd die. But like, I'm just kind of curious what exactly would happen. It wouldn't be that big of a deal. Those deep sea fish just mm. look so disturbing, they though. Would, they would die because they can't breathe in air. Well, yes, I mean, I know they would like die, it. but like... Honestly, this boss is mm. definitely one of the more annoying ones. But like... If we're gonna talk about how... In their structures. If we want to talk about how annoying the boss is, look at how much time is left in the video. Oh, gosh. Is this gonna be one where we're gonna have to tell stories in order to get through it? Right. Yeah, Will, you got any TF2 any war either. stories? Uh, no, but I do have this story that I was gonna tell, but then Carrie interrupted me. Okay, tell the story then. <laughs> oh, I was so rude. Um, anyway, I was like, oh man, I wonder if I could survive at any pressure. And that'd be really cool. Yeah, I could like, chill out in the ocean and it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And then I had a dream later this night, later that night, and uh, I was... I, w I was able to survive at any pressure, and so I w was just chilling out at the bottom of the ocean. It's just walking around the abyssal plane. But the pressure was too great, and I couldn't swim back up, so I had to rock climb all the way up the continental shelf. Wow. But <laughs> I kept on fucking up, and I ended up just living at the bottom of the ocean. And so basically, I don't really wish this anymore. Oh. <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. My apologies. You know, I had a I had a Sorry. dream. You didn't actually really interrupt me. I just wanted to make you feel better. If we're gonna talk about oh. stories about dreaming things, last night I had a dream where I was basically I was in the shoes of a Toho protagonist. Like I'm, I was still me, so I wasn't some shitty waifu. But um. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Raymu, best girl. <laughs> oh please, Raymu's Raymu's basic. She's the Mario of Toho. Just cause main actually, yeah, Raymu is kind of garbage. Just just cause main protagonist. I mean, oh, okay. On, if we're gonna be honest, I do like Raymu's personality just cause she's kind of what it, just cause she's kind of whatever with everything. Uh, just like fuck that. All, almost always it seems. Loki has skipped through all the dialogue in Toho. <laughs> Dude, you're missing, like, a lot of the best parts of Toho. But anyway, yeah, I had basically, I, so basically, um, I just, like, I was thinking, how could it be so hard to actually dodge that stuff? And then it hit me. Basically, the bullets, um, like, the bullets in comparison to the size of the sprite, like, like, okay, it's one of those things where you think they might be, like, just, uh, just kind of little in size, but they're actually the same size as you. You know, like, um, a lot of enemies in Mario games. Like, a Goomba looks like he's probably about a quarter of your height, but he's actually about the same height as Mario. That'd be terrifying. Yeah, stuff like that, and I'm just like... Giant mushroom -like Oh shit, and, and then I got shot you. down. And then I woke up. Um, it was 4 a.m. No, you didn't. You made an accidental pun, Evan. What? He did. It was great. I was gonna point it out, but what, I just what know, was... like, the reason I did it. I couldn't imagine how hard it would be to dodge those bullets, but then it hit me. That was great. Oh no, no, I, I heard that. I heard that. Anyway, if we're gonna talk about best girls in Toho, Yomu definitely. Omg, right? I'm kidding. Well, I have no idea what Toho is. Well, you're gonna have fun seeing me dodge ridiculous patterns when I play Toho. Actually, they're not that- Okay, they're still kinda ridiculous looking, but not too ridiculous, cause I'm not playing on anything higher than normal mode. <laughs> mm -hmm. I should play Toho. Instead. Um, tell me, Will, do you have- I'm garbage at Toho. Oh, so it'd be really funny because you'd suck at it. But that means that the game would never get beaten. I can beat the game. Eventually. I mean, I haven't done it, but like, I can. You know you have limited continues, right? I know.
Here, Evan. I'll beat Toho by the end of the week, and that's saying a lot because it's Thursday. Um. <laughs> yeah, wow. And you have class and, and stuff. I should so. try. I should try live streaming Toho 15, but I don't exactly want to. Uh, pretty soon, just because its plot is kind of in relation to uh, Toho 8, and like I don't know. I feel like anyone who doesn't know shit about Toho's environment should see uh, like Toho 8 first, just because that stuff. Like me. Oh, yeah. and for clarification, when I do play Toho over this channel, I do plan on playing the PC-98 games first. The first five Toho games. Yeah. You know this means nothing to me. Well, Toho is actually, like, a really good game that's not ever, like, it's super obscure. Yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like it'd be hard you feel like it's pretty underrated? Yeah, I feel like it's pretty underrated. Um, it's only underrated. We'll talk about that when we're playing Toto. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's only underrated because uh, there's a lot of people who just don't know about it because they're normies. That's true. And they're not in the gaming culture. Like, okay, so there's, like for example, I was actually. Gaming culture. It's, it's like Japan it culture. Isn't? Okay, yeah, it's it. So basically, it's semi-mainstream in the geek community, I'd say. Okay. Um. But anyway, like, for example, when I was on that, uh, like, when I was on that Caribbean cruise, um, so basically, uh, my mom wanted me to, uh, leave my bedroom so that the guys would fi- so that the housekeeping people would finally be able to do some housekeeping. Like, um... Weird. Like, she's not even in- she- like, um, we didn't even all share one room as a family, it was more of, uh, you know, uh, two rooms across the hall from each other, but she could basically- see when I had my door open that it was kind of, that the bed sheets were kind of a mess or whatever so she wanted me to get out so I take my laptop over to the uh dining hall area and I oh hey we finally beat it um you know what? I'll continue this we did. I'll continue Woo! my tale next plot or next part next plot new plot everybody <laughs>